Welcome, I'm going to show you how to customize the Burger Joint website layout. So here you can see the home page with the hero image, the link through to your menu and ordering online. So if you have an ordering online platform such as Uber Eats, you could send them through to that link. Here are the three blurbs which you can tell people more about yourself. So who you are, what you do and why you do what you do with a link through to the menu page again. The next section down, you can put your specials in here. So maybe you have a two for one on a certain day or kids eat free on a certain day. And then people can go through and find out more about what you guys are up to on your blog. Another important section is telling your customers what other customers think about you guys. So when you get a review on your Facebook page or your Google My Business page, you can copy that and add it into your website. And this helps people trust you more and it also gives you a lot of social proof which is needed in this day and age. The next area is a really beautiful area to add your images. So this is a gallery and you can add your own images there from your restaurant, cafe or burger joint. Another really important area for your customer is how to contact you via phone and your opening hours. We've also put, a, put your social media follows here so they can click through and follow your Facebook or your Instagram page. The next section down is a map that we've inserted from Google Maps. And this is a really simple process of just going in and copying from Google Maps and installing it in here, which we'll show you a bit later. And then down the bottom, there's the nice, clean, simple footer where they can see your logo, they can contact you and again, follow you on social medias. We've also added some link throughs to the most important parts, which are the menus and opening hours, your privacy policy and terms and conditions. Now you will need to go and get your own privacy policy and terms and conditions written up by your lawyer, or there are some platforms online where you can copy and paste. I'll also be showing you how to customize this bottom area as well. The next page is your menu. Now the menu is again, got the nice full width header with the image in the background and a link through to your ordering platform. Now, if you don't have an ordering platform such as Uber Eats, you can just remove this button and we show you how to do that. Next, we've got these great navigation links so they can go through and actually see the menu items. So you might have entrees, mains, desserts, breakfast, lunch, dinner, starters, whatever those things are that you have on your menu, you can add them here. And I'll be showing you how to add more if you do have more options on your menu. So when they click on breakfast, it will drop them down to the breakfast area. When they click on lunch, it will drop them down to the lunch area. And when they click on dinner, it will drop them down to the dinner menu here. So let me show you those. So here you have the breakfast board and you can go in and customize those texts and add your own. Here you can add your images of what your breakfast look like. Then your lunch board. Again, you can edit that text and pricing and add your images there of your lunch options. And then your dinner board, again, where you can add your images. Again, we've added the opening hours, the social following and the phone number there and the Google map and your footer again as well. The next page is the blog page. This open link, it, it will take them through to the opening hours. So when they click on that, it will bring up the opening hours area. So they'll be able to see the opening hours. It's just really handy to have it there because that's what customers really want to look for. Um, and now through to the blog page. So the blog page, we'll go back up to the top, it again has that beautiful full width background image. You can add what your blog is about, maybe it's news, what's happening at your restaurant. And then again, these great little navigation headers so they can easily find what they're looking for. So if they're looking for recipes, they'll be able to click on that, it'll take them down to the recipe blogs. If they're looking for current news that's going on at your place, then they can go down and find it there. So whatever your topics are, you can add those there and you can make more. So you can copy these and paste them underneath so that you have more options. So here you can see the blogs that are categorized under events, the blogs that are categorized under recipes and the blogs that are categorized under 
the news element. Then when they click through to one of these blogs, it will take them through to the blog post. So I'll be showing you how to add your content to the blog post area and those blog posts will then get pulled into your categories on the blog page so people can see them. So again, the nice full width background image. This is where you add your content for your blog. This is a sidebar so your customers can navigate easily through your blog posts and also your categories to find what they're looking for. We've also added a um, subscribe now area. So the subscribe now boxes aren't coming up because we haven't added your email subscription in there, but I'll show you what that looks like a little bit later. So they can sign up if you have a MailChimp subscription or another, ma another um, emailing provider. Here you have nice images, again, more text images, text images, and then more blog posts down the bottom so they can keep going through. Again, we've put the, another subscribe to newsletter area here. The actual fields aren't showing up because we haven't added the email provider, but I'll be showing you how to do that. Uh, comment section so customers can comment on your amazing recipes and ask you questions so you can engage with them. You map in the footer the contact area again. So there are those three pages and then also the blog post. So let's go in and I'll show you how to customize your buttons, how to customize your fonts, and how to add your logo. And then after that, I'll be showing you how to come in and change images, how to change your text, and how to change your links on the pages.